This is new at 5.30, a warning from the CDC tonight following an outbreak of a rare but potentially deadly disease in Florida. It's affecting not only those who live there, but also visitors. Tonight, who's considered high risk and what doctors are urging you to do now? It is an outbreak in Florida. Cases of meningococcal disease skyrocketing. The illness can cause meningitis, an infection of the brain and spinal cord, or even the bloodstream. And it's spread through direct contact, like kissing or sharing a drink. 10 to 15 percent of, of patients that get infected will die from it. Florida reporting 21 cases. That's more than the state's five-year average for the disease. A large number in the central part of the state. Orlando Health seeing five cases this year. Dr. Jared Fox is chair of the hospital's infectious disease department. Typically, the, the symptoms will start um, anywhere between three to six days after um, exposure. Those symptoms start out like the flu, fever, headache, and a stiff neck. Other symptoms include nausea, vomiting, light sensitivity, and confusion. Getting treatment early with antibiotics is key, as a person infected can deteriorate rapidly. This is typically someone who may be complaining of a headache in the morning, and by evening time, afternoon, evening time, they're dead or, or comatose. The best way to protect yourself is to get the meningococcal vaccine. These high-risk groups are now being urged to roll up their sleeves. College students, those with a weakened immune system, gay and bisexual men, including those living with HIV, and anyone who hasn't had a vaccine in the past five years.